Right, next video. Similar figures. Before similar figures with her. Same what, but different what? Okay, so can you write down? Uh, oh, it's not writing. Uh, I write this in blue. But there's one more thing that is more important. Maybe I want to write in red. All corresponding angles are equal. That means the angles are the same, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, can you underline the word proportional? Proportional means the ratio is the same. Okay, I want to I want to elaborate on uh, the point number two. Uh. Now angle the same means uh, let's look at this two triangle. Okay, you have the triangle as well. So if this is 30, 40, 50, this will be 30, 40, 50. Okay, the so angles are the same. But can the length be the same? No. No, right? This is smaller, this is bigger. So what do I mean by the ratio is the same? Maybe you help me add some numbers there. Let's say this is two, uh this is six. Uh, this is 5, this is 15, 7, 21. So I want you to see that the length are different, but later on when you calculate the ratio, 2 over 6 will be equal to 5 over 15 is equal to 7 over 21. Now, I know, I know the line don't make sense, this one should be here, this one should be there, but I want you to see later on, when I divide the ratio, it will be the same. Clear? So the line will be different, but the ratio is the same. Do you understand? Okay. Now, very quickly, let's look at, uh, over here, someone tell us the answer. Or oh, find what's the answer. BCA is E F D D. Okay, next one. Three young. F D E is equal to. Not so hard, right? Huh? C A B. And then the ratio is the same. Now, uh, for this one, can you put a star? I'm going to I'm going to recap very quickly, uh, from the side two knowledge, uh. Can you help me label the this order triangle, and maybe you help me order one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, what I want to show you is this. I want to say if I use AB in the first triangle, I must use BE in the next triangle. Okay, and if I use AB in the second triangle, I must. Use EF. Yeah. If I use CA three one, I must use FD. Follow? So which means later on no need to refer to the diagram. Just refer to the statement. You can set up the three ratio. Later on, all the length will be solved using this ratio. Okay? Now let's start with the example. First one, you try yourself. I don't have to now, I, I think I only want to talk about this triangle, but I got a problem because I don't have this angle. So, can you help me? This is part A. Yeah? Uh, Gerald, can you help me? I want to find out this blue angle. So, I write down angle BCA. If I use BCA means 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. BCA means 2, 3, 1. Correct? So it will be equals to angle what? D two three one two three one D E A 
Look at the diagram again. D A says that it is equal to 4x. Correct. So which means 120 plus x plus 4x will give you the 180. Find x. Okay. See yeah, okay. Could you trust your answer A C B? Can you copy this down later? Go back and try. Next one to answer A D E. Xing Hui wants to answer A D E. Hurry up, hurry up. Rachel? 12 again. Nigel, what's the answer for 3B? Uh. Let's do this together. Can everyone highlight this? Everyone highlight this? Now, can you also write down? Can you also write down 1, 2, 3? 1, 2, 3. Okay, I'm going to call you to write out the equation. Huh? Minus those talking to our friends, the rest keep quiet. Now, uh, A, B. If I call A, B, that means I want 1 and 2. It will be equals, uh, it must divide by the other triangle, what length? A, Q. All can follow. Next one will give us the next ratio by each. If I say B, C, I must divide by Q, P, P, Q, the same. If I say A, C, I must divide by, next one, Ming Yuan. Huh? A, P, P, A, same. Now, you must be able to write this ratio, and then you ask yourself, B, C is which one? Is it in one of the six length here? Yes, right? B, C is here, right? Okay, done. Next, I want to put a tick beside all the alphabet that have the length. I have A, B, so I tick. I have P, B, no need. I have A, C, I tick. I have P, Q, I tick. I have A, C, I have A, P, I tick. Now, do you see out of the six, out of the six, I have four, you tick. So BC, BC is what I want to find, PQ is 21, AC is 6, AP is 16. Then you multiply upwards and then you do the answer. Using the similar method, what is the answer for B? Clarify, uh, 21 is not correct. So this is the answer. Uh, Matthew, what's the answer for B? 26. Correct. You think so? The rest, how about this? Yes. Cool. 26. Hey, I don't show you the I don't show you the working you go and figure it out. Next time. Right, last one. If I want angle How do I call this away? Alright, uh, last one. If I want angle BCQ, 
Which angle will I call? B, C, Q. Oh, this one. I want this one. Uh, so this angle, notice the red angle here, is not inside any triangle, right? So I must, I must refer it back to a triangle. So I will say it's equal to 180 minus angle A, C, B. This one. Uh, 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. A Q over twelve, correct, correct. Is equal to twenty one. Twenty one is what? P Q over six. This is wrong because this is P Q. This is A C. P Q is two three. A C is one three. You didn't obey the ratio. You didn't follow the ratio. Again, uh, before. Uh, if you have two and three, right? You must use B and C. You must use A and C. You must here, use A and C. Follow? Then what? C. Uh, what's your answer? 61. Is it 61? Anybody need to go through? BCQ equals to? BCQ equals to BAC. No. No, huh? This is not equal to this. No, 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 no. Okay? Anyone need to go through? Otherwise, I don't go through. Sorry, uh. Look at it. All right. So this is the only angle I have, right? So can you tell me? I start, uh. So can you tell me angle APQ is equals to which angle? APQ is one. 3, 2, right? Angle A, C, B. So this is 119, right? So A, C, B is here. This is 119. I ask you what is this? Follow? Can I? Right, next one, I want the answer for... So first thing, I don't like a triangle. Simple. I will label 1, 2, 3. I will label 1, 2, 3. Now, Zaira, can you help me to give me the ratio? A, B over 1. X, Y. This one. B, C over 1. Y, Z. Next one. A, C over X, Z. Now, uh, then you look at the question. The question one, green color. The question one, this. That means the question one, this, right? Right? Then I ask myself, what do I have? Uh, they say AB is 2.4, so I think. XY is 3.6, then I think. That means I use these two, ah. Why is two different answer? Huh? What unknown? You mean this one? Uh? You mean this one? Uh? You are not solving you are not solving B C, you are not solving Y Z. So your answer is just B C over Y Z is equals to two point four over three point six. You press your calculator, what do you get? Two over three. 
But that only uh, because they want YZ on top. Mine is YZ at the bottom. So if you want YZ on top, BC at the bottom, then it's 3 over 2. Understand? Okay, good. Right, let's go on to.